Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron laptop. This laptop is a Dell Inspiron 5000 series, the exact model is a 559 model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can clean up the heat sink and repaste your processor and if your fan is failing how to replace the fan. Alright. This applies for any 5000 series models, but this exact one, it's a 5559. Even on the bottom, on the bottom, of the, once you remove the battery, it will tell you that it's a P51F version. Now, to get it started, you need a few tools. Tool number one, you need a screwdriver set. I use this iFixit tool set, which has S2 S2 classic steels, which are really tough and steel, which are really handy. You're gonna use Phillips number zero from here. All right, first thing first, you wanna power off completely. You wanna flip it upside down and you wanna remove the battery by pulling this trigger to one side and lifting up the battery. The battery for this one, I have no idea what it is, but yeah, the battery, just remove the battery. And next, you wanna remove all the screws at the bottom cover. First, start with the uh, service cover screws so there are two screws on here so remove these two screws put your screwdriver there and lift up the cover now we're going to start removing the other screw so remove this screw on the corner also i realize that only one few for one percent of my viewers are subscribed to my channel and clicking like button i really appreciate if you guys could click that like and support the channel obviously if you find my content useful we're gonna even remove the screws on the caddy hard drive right here. So remove this caddy hard drive. Yeah. Once you remove the caddy for the hard drive, lift up this jack 90 degrees and pull up the hard drive. I made another video how to upgrade your hard drive to a solid state drive. Now there's uh, one more screw right here. Remove this screw right down here. Remove the Wi-Fi board by removing one screw and the bracket. Lifting up the Wi-Fi cables and pulling back the Wi-Fi board. Remove this screw right here. These are M2 times eight screws. Once you remove the screws, there's the screws under the battery. So remove those screws under the battery. Now we need to remove the DVD-ROM drive. To remove the DVD-ROM drive, don't pull on this one. You can break the cover. There's this place right here. You want to stick your screwdriver and then you just want to push it towards the outer side. And there's uh, three screws right under the DVD. Remove these flat screws. Once you remove those two, grab your tweezers and pull these speaker cables to to the back so you can disconnect these speaker cables now we're gonna make sure that there's no more screw that we missed we're gonna open up the laptop we're gonna grab our opening tool i use the uh, a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick you're gonna remove the keyboard by pulling these triggers back another trigger by f5 another one between escape and f1 so lift it up and there's one more by the delete and one right at the back. Just pretty much pushing these clips to the back and pulling it towards the screen and releasing these clips at the bottom. Bring it gently over. We need to unhook the cable for the LCD uh, backlight and then lift up this power and slide out the ribbon cable for the keyboard. Now down here, we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. Go ahead and remove the screws down here. And we can see that the fan is kind of seized. So I try to push it, it's not even moving. So we're gonna fix that issue right now. And that's why it's overheating. So unhook this cable right there. This one upward. And the power on button right there. And I start pulling out this cable. So loosen up that one, loosen up this one, and the track back. 
it's not and then you want to grab your guitar pick and you want to bring it on the bottom side between the bottom and top cover and just want to wiggle it around stick it right there and twist it you should be able to release the bottom cover and bring it towards the back wiggle it around put the back hinges Do this other side. Once you did that, the bottom cover should come out pretty easy. Put it to one side. Now we have the GPU and the CPU and the fan right there. We can see the fan is seized up. So we're gonna remove the heatsink by removing the first the cable for the fan, just pulling it backward. I don't like yanking on this cable, it's really fragile, so put this tweezers beside it and pull it back. Now remove the three screws for the CPU and three screws for the GPU. The screws in here, they have a C-lock on them, so they don't actually physically come out. You just have to twist them. Except the GPU, the GPU doesn't have a C-lock on them. It will come out. So remove the screws and then lift up the heat sink and there we go there's a gpu and there's a cpu now we're gonna clean up first let's go ahead and clean up grab your work towel uh, working towel grab your 100 percent or 95 percent alcohol isopropolic alcohol soak it in and clean up the cpu all you have to do is to clean up the die. You don't have to clean the whole PCB, but I really like cleaning it. Be careful with the GPU. With the GPU, I would say just clean the die. Be careful with the capacitors around it. So try not to yank it with a towel, whatever you clean with. Once you clean that one in there, now we're going to put the laptop to one side and we're going to work in here. So first thing first, so we don't get ourselves dirty, clean up the heat sink and I can see a decoloration right here Oxidized. there's an oxidize right there that means the GPU is not making a good contact and there's a layer of the something right there even on the CPU too All right, pretty much it's cleaned up now we're gonna proceed to opening the fan we need to grab the screwdriver. We need a double zero or triple zero Phillips. With a triple zero Phillips, we're gonna remove the screws on the fan. So on the top plate, there should be a few tiny screws. Go ahead and remove these tiny screws. Once you remove the tiny screws, there's a tiny clip on this end. So loosen up this clip. Just open it a little bit and the fan should come out pretty easy. Once you got the fan out, First, we're gonna see if we can pull up the fan. The fan should come out. So pull it evenly, try to bring it up evenly, and there we go. The fan is up, and now we're gonna actually push down this magnet. This magnet heats up a little bit and it comes down. So I'm pushing, just pretty much squeezing it, pushing it back inside the cover. Even a slight drift from that one it can cause it so what you need to do is to grab an old toothbrush or new toothbrush and press just clean up inside here be careful with the wiring so you can put the alcohol here nothing's gonna happen so much soak it in there grab it gently clean the center part clean the sides and then you can just blow to it, look at the dirt that is coming from the other side. No, actually, this is for tape. So, yeah. And then blow right through here. Now, this is the important part. You want to grab this part. And you want to put alcohol right in the middle. Sink it right in there. And you want to just rotate and clean up the magnet and the, the pin right in the middle. 
and there we go all the dirt that is in there you need to clean up everything in here so clean up nicely there we go now that is really clean we need to grab a uh, oil so this is a special fan oil i'll try to put the link in the description so we're just gonna put one or two drops easy in the middle of the fan right there you can put one right there if you want. no more than one or two drops you don't want to put excessive now you want to bring it over and push it down and just let it go do a few turns so now it's actually working nicely and it's working perfectly fine you can use a toothbrush to clean up the fan before you do all this so you should have done this before you can even wash it off with a nice hot water before you come here and let it dry up right now that fan is good i'm just gonna pass a little bit of voltage through here to just test it before i putting it in you can just test it yourself and this one it is a five volt i believe five volts so i'm gonna do a test so it's really easy it might be at i think it's a 12 volt but i'm gonna start with a 5 volt i'm just gonna just test it and make sure that it's working so we connect the red one and the black one and there we go beautiful so it's a 5 volt fan and it's working just fine so you need to do this service every few years you don't need to do this part what I did right now I just uh, don't want to put it all together and then realize that the fan is not working and then to reopen it all that so I just like testing it out before plugging it back in all right now once you have the fan in and it tested out bring it over first close up close up this hinge right here that we opened it up clean up the dock system bring it over align it now we're going to put the screws on the top side and there we go now once we got this one ready now i'm going to show you guys how to clean up these uh, patches here like uh, this oxidization that happens on the copper we want to remove this layer by using a, a solution a copper or a silver solution silver cleaning solution any silver it can be a liquid or it can be a simple uh, a paste i have the liquid based copper cleaner so dip the cotton ball right there and then start cleaning it up you see alcohol doesn't clean it up but this one cleans it up nicely so clean up four of them and remember with the exposed to the air is going to come back if you leave it for a long time so once you clean it up Pass it with a dry one. Now that is really cleaned, we're gonna put that to one side, upside down, so the dust doesn't get into it. And the next step is to grab the laptop, bring it over, and we're gonna repaste. So we'll place a tiny drop on the die on the CPU main die, and let it drop on the other die on the GPU, and then we are set. And the next step would be to grab the heat sink. Bring it over. Align it on top. Bring it down on the CPU. Hold it down from here. And I forgot to switch the beds to Phillips number zero. And screw down here. Cross the screw them. And put the three screws for the GPU. And there we go now go ahead connect the fan cable 
bring down the bottom cover bring it over make sure the Wi-Fi cables they have to go right through here align it and press down make sure you hear those clicks on the back side on the side on the front end uh, connect the once for all the speaker cable just slide them in there and let's go put the screws for the under the battery so let's this keeps the stuff in place at least and they are the same as the top side so i'm gonna put the screws for the hinge so we're gonna open it up i don't want to stress the hinges without the screw so put these two corner ones at least now grab the wi-fi before plugging it in there just put the cables in place honestly it doesn't matter what cable goes where but they are both the same at the end so and plug it in there put the bracket with the cable right on top there we go now what we need to do is put one screw on the bottom front put the middle screw put the three flat screws on the side under the dvd drive grab the hard drive bring it over slide it down put the cable in there and then put the caddy right in place put the screw in front of the caddy first and put the four screws for the hard drive caddy make sure you hold it in place all right now we're going to continue opening it up going on the back side on the top side put the flex cable for the power on switch make sure the lock is open underneath the slide and lock it down i forgot to bring this over this has to come over so just bring it over has to come here goes through here hold it and lock it down trackpad same thing slide it underneath lock it down put the screws on top All right, once you got this top part you're going to grab the keyboard slide down the flex cable for the keyboard all the way in lock it down the backlight slide it down lock it down bring it over flip it over and put down the bottom side down underneath and then squeeze down make sure you do tiny clicks and that's it now close it back down you slide down the dvd drive to the side Put the tiny screw right here in there by the DVD drive so it holds it in place. Put the other tiny screw right at the edge of the drive. Now, next, put the screw right on the motherboard. Grab all the screws that we're going to use. Remember, this screw right here is broken, so the hinge on that one is broken. So don't worry about that one. So what we're gonna do right now, we have to grab the bottom cover, put down the front end side and bring it over and then squeeze it down. Put the last two screws right on top. Uh, the screw that I'm missing is the one in the corner because the bottom hinge is broken. The bottom where the screw holds is broken so there's nothing we can do here and nothing's going to happen now pretty much we are done here now you can actually power it on and let's test it on let's see if it powers on so plug in the cable power it on press f2 to go to the bios let's see if we get a screen it might take 5 to 10 seconds, but I got it right away. I think there's a DVD right here. Yeah, there's a DVD right here. Too. So let me make sure that I get to the BIOS and everything is fine. Yeah, the trackpad is working and 
the boot menu everything is working fine all right guys this is how you repaste and maintain do your maintenance for your dev latitude 5003 laptops i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own service and if you did please click that like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video